11 unbelievable out of place artifacts. Number 11, 300,000 year old nano spirals. In 1992, geologists were exploring the Ural Mountains for gold when they came across this startling discovery. They would later be known as the Russian nano spirals that we see in this photo. This means they found minuscule spiral objects while investigating mineral deposits. After several tests were conducted, they found a material known as tungsten, which is extremely rare and used in modern day spacecraft. This eerily resembles pieces found in nano machines. Scientists believe they were 300,000 years old based on the depths of the embedded gravel in which it was discovered. Tungsten is known for its melting point, higher than any element. Therefore, it has the ability to withstand extreme temperatures one would experience during space travel. So what would humans have been doing with this technologically advanced material that was clearly manufactured? Some theories claim it's debris from an alien spaceship that crashed thousands of years ago. Number 10, Woman of Atlantis. It's one of the most disputed pieces of ancient art and its origins are unknown. This limestone was discovered in 1897 in Alicante, Spain and measures 21 inches high. While some believe it to be a 19th century forgery, others claim it's from the lost city of Atlantis and represents a queen. How could it be connected to the lost civilization? A small carving of the sun at the base of the statue reminds many that the sun was the primary worship of the Atlantean religion. Others believe that the hairstyle is similar to that of a young unmarried Hopi Indian that are only native in northern Arizona. Despite it being claimed as a forgery, many reject this theory and claim it's a genuine piece of artwork. What do you believe? Number 9. Baghdad Batteries It's now a well-documented fact that ancient civilizations did conduct power from what's known as the Baghdad Battery. It's believed to be about 2,000 years old and it's composed of a clay jar, copper, iron, and some type of acidic solution. Modern experiments have produced currents of at least 1.1 volts, and that's with only a small jar. Imagine what they could have done with pots about 5 to 10 feet tall. What could this power have been used for during this period? It's well known that ancient civilizations were capable of creating extremely large stone monuments, centuries more advanced than their time. Could somehow the electric current produced with the Baghdad battery have helped them accomplish some of these wondrous feats of engineering? Number 8. The Antikythera Mechanism According to mathematician Tony Freeth, if it hadn't been discovered, no one would possibly believe that it could exist because it's so sophisticated. Many refer to it as the 2,000-year-old computer built by the ancient Greeks, and it's capable of calculating astronomical positions and eclipses with unbelievable precision. Made completely out of bronze, this remarkable device thousands of years ahead of its time is one of the most complex devices of the ancient world. Precise engineer gears were used that we don't even have in watchmaking technology in modern times. This goes to show us how the Greeks had the capabilities of finally producing machinery as well as the scientific understanding of the universe. Instead of believing the gods completely controlled the cosmos, they knew that it came down to precisely defined rules, which makes this device much more advanced than we once thought. Number 7. The Viking Ulfbert Sword we all know Vikings were some of the fiercest warriors known to man and were devastating on the battlefield, plundering much of Europe. But did they possibly possess technology thousands of years in advance? Well, archaeologists stumbled across about 170 of these blades with Urfbert written across the blade and made them want to rewrite the history books on how swords were made. The process of forging the iron needed something to reach temperatures of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit in order to liquefy the iron which is only known to have been done in the industrial age. It also contains three times the normal amount of carbon known to be used in other medieval swords at that time. These were considered to be super swords and would have been extremely rare and valuable. How could they have possibly made these? Number six, the Quimbaya airplanes. The Quimbaya airplanes are golden artifacts that were found in Colombia and made by the Quimbaya civilization. Many believe this to be evidence of ancient civilizations having contact with people who had flying capabilities. Of course, mainstream archaeologists want to describe these as flying lizards, birds, or insects, but others firmly believe the answers to these mysteries are found from out of the world. Supporters of this theory claim the objects to be far too aerodynamically accurate, and replicas have been proven to fly. Here in these photos, you can see some of these objects even seem to have propellers and appear to resemble quite similar to our modern aircraft. Was this civilization visited by alien life and carved into these golden sculptures in their form? Number 5. 300 million year old screw. This object that appears to be a screw is fixed within a 300 million year old rock 
and has sparked debate among scientists. Some people claim it's proof of a long-lost ancient civilization. Others think it could be the work from aliens. The screw appears to be about two inches long, but what it's made of still hasn't been proven just yet. Skeptics are beginning to believe it's a common species of sea creature that lived millions of years ago, known as crinoids. Some say that the screw is much too big to be this species of the sea creature, and disregard that theory. The fossilized form of a stem does have a resemblance to look like a screw. Take a look at the photos and let us know what you think. Number 4. Iron Pillar of Delhi Located in Delhi, India, is a mysterious pillar that rises 7 meters, or 23 feet high. What's most intriguing about this pillar is that it's remained completely rust-free after 1500 years. If that wasn't shocking enough, it's made from 99.8% pure iron. That's purer than the iron we can currently create in modern times. It weighs over 13,000 pounds. The pillar even withstood the firing of a point-blank cannon strike. Despite some indentation, it still stands strong to this day. Number 3. 1.7 million year old bridge? Did ancient civilizations possibly possess the technology to build bridges on a massive scale? We've seen what ancient Egyptians were capable of by building the pyramids and other great monuments. But what about a massive bridge from India to Sri Lanka? Indian legends tell tales about such a bridge that measured 30 kilometers or about 19 miles connecting the subcontinent of India to Sri Lanka. Some describe it as a chain of shoals, while others firmly believe that it was man-made due to the mixed assemblage of coral. The photos from NASA seem to show some type of connecting structure between the two landmasses. Coincidence? Number 2. The Klerkdorp Sphere These round spheres have been described by many authors and reporters as out-of-place artifacts that could have only been designed by intelligent beings. They're described to be about a half an inch to five inches in diameter and are made of nickel steel alloy that doesn't occur in nature. Found in South Africa and dated to be about 3 billion years old, these appear to have some type of flattened disc in the center, and judging by their shape, claim it's not reproducible without human or extraterrestrial invention. Some of the mysterious globes have a fibrous structure on the inside, but cannot be scratched even with steel. The origins of these artifacts still remain very mysterious, and if they were made by someone or something, what was it used for? Number 1. Dendera Light Although no direct physical evidence exists, many are beginning to truly believe that the ancient Egyptians had access to electrical light. Maybe Thomas Edison wasn't the first to invent the light bulb after all. We already know that ancient civilizations had access to electricity by looking at the Baghdad battery. Would it be too far-fetched to believe that they had access to light bulbs or some kind of lighting device as well? This sculpture found at the Hathor Temple at the Dendera Temple Complex could bring some light on some theories of how ancient tombs were painted. How were ancient Egyptians able to produce such massive masterpieces of art within tombs, deep within structures or underground? Mirrors seem very unlikely from the design of the tunnels. With all the strange discoveries from the past, could this theory be true?